everybody, welcome to my YouTube. I'm Jen, and today is Let's Make Art Journal Day. Uh, Let's Make Art Journals is from the company Let's Make Art, uh, where they do a monthly subscription of art journals, an art journal tutorial. This will be their second box. It'll be for the month of March. Um, a couple of you had asked to see what I create um, each month, so I figured I would take my journals from the previous month, and while I'm opening it, I would show you a quick run through. Um, they do tutorials every month, so I will link those below. Um, but also they give you like ideas and things to do. Um, there will be one new journal every month, so I plan on filling one up every month. It's not full this month, um, to be honest, but what I do is I take this with me on my lunch breaks, um, just while I'm sitting watching TV, things like that, and I just play in it. Um, they do three projects a month plus one postcard. Um, the Let's Make Art Matters um, is a postcard just to go to somebody in need of a little bit of cheering up. Um, haven't seen their first one for that yet um, because I got this box, so I haven't created it yet. That'll be next week. But let me just do a quick show and tell, I guess, of what I created. Um, this is the journal. I absolutely love these journals. Um, I tried to find them elsewhere and I found out that Let's Make Art actually worked with Carpe Diem um, to create these. So unfortunately you can't buy them, but you can absolutely get them in the kit. Um, I love the paper. It takes just about any medium so far. I've done watercolor, acrylic, paste, gesso, um, and I just, I absolutely love it. So I will eventually do the cover. I'll probably say February on it or something like that. Um, first thing I did was I put in the, the card. The other side has like what was included. I'll show you that probably in this box. The first project of the month was a basically, um, tell us about yourself or what makes me happy. So this is what I made for what makes me happy. Of course, um, it's personalized. So it's got my husband and Eeyore and then all the little words all the way around, um, of what makes me happy. And there's definitely a tutorial on this one, so check out if you're not familiar with it. Let's make um, art journals. Again, I'll link it below. But absolutely, the tutorials are free. You don't have to buy these kits. Um, and you can just see how she creates, how she um, says to start. And basically, this whole, whole thing um, for the month of February is spark a start. So um, the next page, this one actually was one that they did um, whenever they made their announcement that they were going to be doing Let's Make Art Journals. Um, they did like a little tutorial, a little live session um, that was basically a watercolor wash background and then taking white pen um, and making marks. I don't know if you can see all of the marks. So I did that and then they did um, Welcome Winter, I think was the um, words that they put on here and I just put uh, Journal Yourself. Um, which is something that if you watch my channel and my videos, um, Marta from Marry Me Small Art, um, sent me a, I sent her a box of supplies. She sent it back. Um, and the quote on there is journal yourself. So I thought that was perfect for first month of this series. Um, so journal yourself. And then I added one of her little flowers just to remind me. I loved this background so much that I went a little crazy and tried it numerous times. <laughs> Haven't put any focal points or any um, sentiments on any of these because I was just busy doodling, playing around with it. Love the white Posca pen. Um, so uh, this one I did the same thing only with gold and green. Uh, one more because I just went crazy with it. And these eventually I will possibly put something in there. I'm not sure what. Um, I just, I kind of, kind of love them as is. Probably just a word or something when it's finished. Uh, same thing with this one. It's the white Posca pen. Um, and then this is actually made out of, um, watercolor again, but orange and yellow. So I love how, um, the edging turned out. This was their next tutorial. Um, one word I believe is what it's called in the tutorial. So, take a look at that. My word is believe. Um, and then I put little, little things that I want to believe in. I want to believe in myself. I want to believe in dreams, power of love, magic, family. 
um, the papers are all from the kit. This is the next one, um, which is Frida Kalo. Kalo. Um, she is an artist, and they did a tutorial on her. I changed the quote a little bit um, just because I felt like uh, I wanted something smaller for one. <laughs> um, but also, I was pretty happy with how my flowers turned out. Um, they're supposed to be abstract. They're definitely not supposed to be realistic. Um, so I just thought, and this is definitely one of her quotes. Um, so I just thought I'd post that. It's actually all that I have for the tutorials so far is those three. Um, but I have been playing around with, uh, the paints. Um, they did come with a couple different colors. Uh, you can definitely, I'll link the, um, video, um, at the end where you can see what, what all was included in the box for the first month. Um, I'll link it in the cards at the end, so... Um, there's extra papers, so I'm not finished with this one either, but, um, these are just some of her extra papers. And then I doodled around it a little bit and did a wash in the background just like before. Um, and just like in this tutorial, oh wait, yeah, yeah, this tutorial, <laughs> um, and how she says to journal in the background, I did that here. None of them are real words, um... There might have been thoughts, but nothing that you would ever be able to actually read, or I'd probably never remember. And um, this was from the paper. And this one I did, I just, uh, I love the roses um, so much I wanted to play around with some more, so that's what this one is. And then this one is empty. I was thinking um, whatever I put on the postcard, I might want to replicate it and put it here. So that is safe for the postcard. I also, just to keep it, I put the technique cards here. Um, in the back, I just, uh, taped it with our washi tape. Um, and those are my technique cards. So, uh, the other cards, um, the props, I don't have in here yet. I will probably figure out somewhere to put it. Um, but for now, that's my February. So, let's see what's in March. Sorry, I know that was a long intro, but some of you had asked to see that. Um, I'm happy to share so let's see what we get for March. So first up there is the, it's going to be Cultivate Kindness, which is very cool. Um, and this will have a little um, write-up of what's included. Um, it tells you where the tutorial is and all the recommendations that Jessie recommends. Um, her name is Jessie Peterson. Uh, she works the Let's Make Art um, journals. Um, and of course, links below. So, looks like next up is a little card, or a little letter, um, from Jessie herself. It says, this is your friendly reminder to set aside what, set aside your to-do list and play devil and paint. Art journaling can be whatever you want. The pages can be fast or slow. Paintings or drawings, snippets of life, pasted on a page, or pretty painted song lyrics that you capture your current mood. Each month, your box will include a fabulous mixed media art journal, a theme, a curated supplies, and curated supplies, along with art recipe cards to spark your creativity. There are two types of art recipe cards, the prompt and the technique, which we know from last month, and there will be follow-along tutorials. Um, sharing is caring. We love seeing what you make. Um, you amazing art genius. Tag us whether it's whether you hang out and join our community of art journalists who are looking for connections and inspiration, tag us or use hashtag let's make art journals. Tag us whether you hang out, join our community of art journalists who are looking for connection and inspiration and tag us or use hashtag let's make art journals. Okay. Then it tells you a little bit about Let's Make Art Matter um, and that they've included a postcard and that there will be a tutorial at the end of the month. No matter where you are in your creativity, creative journey, we hope the practice of art journaling can help you grow in new ways and help cultivate creative habits. So there's that. Um, so let's see what's inside. So this is our little pouch of goodies inside our, and you can absolutely paint these, inside our little pouch of goodies this month is a Tombow um, brush pen, brush nib, brush, 
Um, and then there's a little fine point at the other end. I'm not sure what color this is. It's kind of like a beigey color. Um, it's an N79. Um, we also have a Fudnowski, which is also a Tombow, a black pin, which I love these. Um, we have the postcard in question for Let's Make Art Matter, along with the recommendation, or the person that they suggest sending it to. Um, this one is Cassel Toulos. He was diagnosed with Alzheimer's about three years ago. His loving daughter described him as a hero to her, feeling devastated by his loss of memory and grasp on reality. Cassell's, Cassell's daughter knew that receiving postcards from people around the world would be the highlight of his day. He has a childlike sense of wonder with mail and studies each piece intently. Let's send him some love. Join us at the end of March to create postcards for Cassell. Um, we'll release the video tutorial on Let's Make Art YouTube channel. And you can absolutely, if, even if you don't get this kit, you can absolutely send postcards to him. Um, just email them to um, get the address um, uh, or message them on Facebook probably. And um, they'll get you the address and you can send him a postcard as well. Inside here, um, they also put graphite paper for tracing in case you need to trace anything. Looks like we have our technique cards and our prompt cards, which we'll look at in a minute. Looks like we have a bundle of watercolor paper. So these are artist trading cards, ATC size. So that's interesting. That'll be a lot of fun. We'll do maybe a pocket journal. And then also we have the guest paste. Now, I used this little this little container um, for my projects so I pasted down this um, I pasted down this and I ran out of paste so um, that is one thing I'll need to give them some feedback let them know that there is not enough paste in here um, I have plenty of adhesive so it wasn't a problem but um, this is great to take along with you, but when creating at home, I will probably just use um, something else. So, but the SP yes seemed to work great. Um, I did actually have to paste um, this one down a couple times, but I think it was because I was trying to um, not be skimpy, but... I'm trying to save some of it so that I would have enough for this project and it just didn't happen. It came up, um, it didn't stick, but once I put enough on it, it absolutely stuck. Um, it got a little wet, so it, it buckled a little bit, but that's, I, I don't mind, it's perfectly fine. Um, and then you can tell on this one, there's absolutely nothing um, cause I just, I used what I needed, so. Um, so here is the Wonderful, and I might try again to see if I can find these, but I absolutely love this journal. This is what it looks like, brand new. And now that I know what it's called, maybe I'll find it this time. Um, we've got some alphabet stickers. We have an awesome card for uh, watercolor. Um, so these, you actually just use them just as you would like a pan of watercolor paints. Um, this little dot will go a long way, and it looks like it's Danielle Smith um, watercolor. So, super excited to have that to add it to my um, art journal for this month. For March, not this month, I guess. And then, of course, spoiler, you're good at this. Um, and then here is the... Papers. Looks like there is a pocket template in here. So we will be making pockets. Cut the shape out with scissors. Fold, glue. Yeah. So easy peasy. And then it looks like two pages of 
two pieces of paper to use in the journal this month and of course you can add whatever else you want um, but this is papers that Jessie has created um, specifically for the projects that she will be showing the little card um, has this month's theme for art journaling is cultivate kindness um, and then ingredients are the journal the watercolor dot card the Fudnoski Fudonosuki, Fudonoski, whatever, pen, the Tombow Gray, so that is gray. Um, I guess I could have tried it just to, just to see. Yeah, that's definitely gray. Um, two sheets of collage paper, the alphabet stickers, the artist trading cards, and the yes paste. Um, she also recommends an oval brush map and a round six. And then there's the link for the tutorials. And then let's find out what is on these lovely prompt cards. Okay, so the prompt cards. And Jesse says to mix and match them. So you take one card from each, um, and that helps you figure out what to create and absolutely over the months when you get more and more looks like my video actually stopped recording while I was going over these cards so um inside the card inside the box sorry I'm a little frazzled inside the box are two sets of cards one of them are technique cards the others are prompt cards um what Jesse says to do is actually mix and match them um to give you ideas on what to do on your page and that's what she'll be doing when she does the projects this month that she'll be mixing and matching them. Um, what you can also do if you do get these boxes, or even if you don't, just write it down on a piece of paper. Um, but you can use prompts from previous months, future months, everything, add them all together. And anytime you need some inspiration, just grab two cards. Grab one, one technique and one prompt. And then you can create whatever, whatever your hearts desire. So um, I'll go over these real quick. So in the prompts, um, she does have three. She's got a positive vibes, note to self, and tiny is fun. Um, so this just says make tr try making tiny works of art that you like. Um, so whether <laughs> they are abstract pieces of landscape, um, you can create a special space in your art journal for them. Create a page around the art as if you were, as if it were hung in a room, or you could make it more interactive with a pocket, which is kind of what she does in one of the techniques. Notes to self, obviously, um, that one's a little more self-explanatory. You just make some, write some encouraging notes to yourself. Um, think of ways to cultivate kindness, cultivate kindness within. Um, start, start with quotes, poems from your favorite books or other artists, um, or even social media. Um, definitely there's more information. Um, and she did make a little no note that she said this prompt works well with the journal pocket technique. Um, and then positive vibes. This one says, the world can always use some more positive vibes. Am I right? Let's get our creative juices flowing by working on ways to leave behind kindness. Something like, sometimes thinking of others can help unblock your creativity in new ways. What words from a stranger would be fun to discover on a mundane shopping trip or visits to the library? Jot down your ideas and add your favorites to some small artist trading cards and make some art with a positive vibe. Um, take a photo of your art in the place you hope an unsuspecting stranger will find it and use hashtag LMA cultivate kindness. So basically what she's saying is use these AT seeds, ATCs, draw something, write words of kindness um, for strangers, leave it in a public place, take a picture of that and post it online, hashtag LMA cultivate kindness. Um, and then, so those were the prompts. And then she does say, um, oh, like on this one, notes to self would look good in the pocket. Then she's got the three technique cards. Um, this one is basically um, just taking that card and 
making watercolor shapes, playing with the watercolors, and then write a quote in the middle. Looks like she also put it on top of um, some doodles. So definitely doodle in your journal. This one is where she's making a pocket. When she makes the pocket, she actually cuts it out of this page that she gave us, wherever it went, in here, um, and then just traces it on um, to the collage paper and then tapes it and uses that. Um, and then you can absolutely put your words of kindness in there. And then this one is called Brave Collage. Um, so basically you just make, you use the collage paper and make use, um, glue them with the yes paste on your little card and use the stickers for some words. And then again, she doodled on the background. So we'll be doing a lot of doodling this month. That was a lot of talking. Sorry about that. <laughs> Let me know what you think um, about this month's kit. This is the month for, or this is the kit for the month of March. Um, again, I'll keep sharing my journals, my journal journey with you on what I do. Um, but I will try to, uh, I will try to try out her techniques every month. Um, in addition to, like what I ended up last time. Um, used her inspiration and just kept going, <laughs> going. Um, and even this one, I mean, that was, I love this background, but then I, um, then I created this one. So, um, yeah, definitely her inspiration is awesome. This is actually Jessie herself eating some ice cream and, uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Um, of course, if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching.